What's going on everybody? Noah from Stage 3 Motorsports here, and today we're gonna to be diving back into the First Light hunting truck build. So if you watched our previous video on this build, then you know that we knocked out suspension wheels and tires. We got a set of Bilstein coilovers in the front, some new Bilstein rear shocks, obviously a set of KMC chase wheels for it, and some Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tires. So overall, it improved the look of the truck pretty significantly, but we also really wanted to enhance the off-road performance. So this thing is going to be quite a bit more capable than it was when it rolled off the lot. Now, the build doesn't stop there, and I have two more big mods that I wanna knock out in this video, and obviously one of them is gonna be this deck system that I'm sitting on. If you're not familiar with the deck name, essentially these folks build drop-in drawer systems for pickup truck beds, and that's what we're gonna be installing here. The idea behind this is that it's gonna give First Light a bit more organization and utility in how they use the truck bed. So before we jump into the deck system, the part that I actually wanna knock out first is gonna be this Ranch Hand Midnight Series front bumper that I have sitting off camera. And this thing's huge. You can tell it's heavy duty just by looking at it. And the practical purpose here is that obviously we wanna give First Light some real protection on the front of this truck. Because it is a bumper with a grill guard mounted to it, we'll have the advantage of it being able to push away any branches or sticks and debris on the trail as they're getting back into their favorite hunting sites or trying to get a little bit farther off the beaten path but with it being a full steel bumper, it also has the rigidity and the strength to withstand anything like an unfortunate encounter with an animal at high speeds or any other damage that might come towards the front of the truck. So with this bumper installed on here, First Light should have a bit more peace of mind as they're pushing into the backcountry, and it will also make this truck look quite a bit better, I suspect. So with that out of the way, let's get this factory front bumper pulled off and try and get things bolted up. So as you can see, we made some progress. We got the factory bumper pulled off as well as some of the other factory equipment that was gonna interfere with getting the new ranch hand bumper on here. And I'll explain why the truck is positioned like this in between the lift as well, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Firstly, I wanted to kind of lay out some of the pieces here because there's a few things you have to do to prepare the bumper before you put it on the vehicle. And there's a lot of brackets here that aren't necessarily super obvious in where they go right off the bat or aren't labeled. So to give you guys a point of reference, if you're doing this install in your driveway, the first set of brackets you'll wanna think about out are these sort of reinforcement brackets for the bumper mounts and they kind of sit behind where the factory bumper came off and the holes on the bottom tie into where the tow hooks go through obviously they're slotted so they match up with these cuts on the front and you're going to want to make sure you have those on there just to reinforce this plate and it allows it to support the additional weight of having a bigger heavier bumper on the truck now of course there is a driver and a passenger side on these and they really only fit one way but that's the first thing you wanna consider. And then moving on to the actual bumper, you've got a few pieces that are a bit more obvious. So we have a grill piece that's sitting in the center here. You'll wanna install it from the back if you want it to look normal. It technically would fit from the front from what I can tell, but it wouldn't look very nice that way and it's designed to go in from behind. So you'll drop that into place. You also have kind of a chin piece here that fills out the bottom line on the bumper. So we'll need to mount this up and it ties into the same hardware that's used for the side mounts. 
And then, of course, in the corners, in these sort of pocket sections, we've got the other mesh plates that sit in, and that's going to fill that gap, but it also provides a little bit of protection for any lights that go behind it. And speaking in terms of lights, these brackets are what you're going to use to mount your fog lights or any aftermarket lights you want to put behind this bumper. So you can kind of see when it sits in here, it basically creates a flat platform that you can hang the brackets off of and it's got slots in it so it can be adjusted to get the right kind of depth and positioning that you need. And then lastly, to go with that, they provide these little squared off brackets. And these, it's kind of up to you if you want to use them or not. The intended purpose for these is to install your OEM Ford fog lights inside of them. And then you can see that they have some holes so they'll fit along this bracket and they can be adjusted for depth as well. So we'll probably end up reusing these here because we do have the Ford factory fog lights in that bumper. And we may replace them later with an aftermarket LED of some kind. We'll see when we get there. But for now, I'll tie it in so we have something to plug into and have the lights on there just in case. But with all that out of the way, I just need to get in here now, grab all the hardware, we're gonna bolt everything onto it, and then we can work on getting this thing up and on the truck. All right, folks, as you saw, we got all of our brackets and mesh plates bolted onto the bumper here. So we're getting pretty close to being able to put this thing on the truck. But I wanted to cover the fog light brackets real quick one more time. I know I mentioned them earlier, but you can kind of see here, I've got the passenger side already put together. You're just gonna pop the fog light housing out of your factory bumper, and then it holds on with some pre-drilled holes that are here that the little plastic tabs push through. So you can kind of bend it open, pop it into place. And then from the back, you'll still have a hole here for your adjustment screw so you can get it set at the proper height. And then at the top, you'll have hardware that's provided with your ranch hand kit, so that way it can actually bolt to the bumper itself. So like I said, passenger side is basically done and ready to go. I'll bolt that up in a minute. Then we're gonna just grab the pieces I have here, put the driver's side together, and we'll move on from there. So looking at the way I have this set up, I'm betting that you can probably guess how this is going to work out, but basically Ranch Hand recommends that you have three people to install one of their bumpers. So that way you have a person on the driver's side, the passenger side, and then somebody underneath who can actually bolt it up. Unfortunately, we're pretty short-handed here at the shop right now with people still working from home. So it's just me and I'm going to use the lift to my advantage. And the idea here is that I'm going to be able to put these pads underneath the top hoops of the grill guard, lift it up so it's hanging in front of the truck, and then I can slowly slide it into place and then bolt it up with the lift supporting it so that way it hopefully won't come down and crush me. This obviously isn't the recommended way to do this. It's just how I'm going to do it to get the job done, but we'll get right into it.
Well, using the lift to pull the bumper into place and lining it up on the truck ended up working out pretty well, and I didn't have to fight with it too much once I got it straight. So now I have the bolts on the bottom. It's kind of hanging onto the truck on its own, and it really doesn't need the lift arms to support it anymore. So I'm going to swing those back out of the way. We'll lower them down so I don't have to worry about bumping into them, and then I can finish putting the hardware in underneath as well as the chin, and we'll work from there. Well, we've got the bumper bolted on here. Everything seems to fit pretty nicely and it certainly changes the look of the front of the truck. Obviously, it just kind of dominates the whole front end now, but this is gonna offer some really good protection for first light. I also wanted to put in a quick note that this little weird bracket here is the license plate bracket. And the reason I offset it is because this is an EcoBoost truck. And so there's an intercooler in the center and I didn't really wanna risk blocking off airflow when they put a plate on it. So having it offset should be a little bit safer, but for now, it's just gonna hang out there. So with all that out of the way, I think that's gonna be a wrap for today, but I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow morning and we'll get to work on that deck system. All right, folks, we are back in the shop and today we're gonna to be tackling the deck system, like I said. So if you're wondering, this is how they show up. It's a huge box on top of a decent sized pallet. So there's quite a bit to unbox and get set out. And I'm gonna try and get all the pieces kind of laid out so I can look and make sure that we have everything that we need. And it's also a lot easier to piece it together when you can see everything that's in the kit, as opposed to just trying to reach in and pull stuff out of this box as you need it. So we'll break this thing down and get right into it. So as you can see, I got everything laid out for our kit and double checked that we have all the parts that we're supposed to have. Deck even provides a little checklist inside the box that you can mark off with a Sharpie if you really wanna be meticulous about it. But since everything's here, all I need to do now is scoot some of the stuff out of the way that I'm not gonna use for a little while, like the drawers and whatnot. And then I'm also gonna to need to pull this plastic bed liner out of the truck because it has the factory four drop-in plastic liner. And unfortunately that's gonna get in the way of mounting the shims at the bottom of the bed and getting this thing bolted to the truck. So once that's clear, we can start getting the bulkhead and everything in place and really piece this thing together. The other thing I wanted to note though, is that Decked was kind enough to throw in a couple of these toolboxes with the kit. And what I really like about these is that they have the tan top on them. When we did the deck system in our Ranger at that point in time, they didn't have this tan option available. It was just blue, which the blue doesn't look bad and it fits their branding, but I like the tan a lot more, especially for a hunting truck build. It kind of fits with that theme and it's just a nice looking color in general. So really cool that they threw these in here. They're gonna be a good addition to the system. But with that being said, let's move some of this out of the way and we'll get right to it. Now, before I go nuts here, I know some people are gonna freak out if they see me using a drill on this because DEC does say that they don't want you to use power tools when assembling their systems, but they do actually put a note in the instructions that if you're gonna use a power drill, you just need to set it to low speed. So we have it set to a one here, and then you're gonna wanna set your clutch really low as well because you just want it to basically do the equivalent of hand tightening each bolt. 
So to speed things up, I'm gonna use this to put these couple bolts through for the ammo cans. Obviously we can go back and torque things down as we need or add a little bit more tension if it's required, but this is just gonna help speed things along. Well, I've got the driver's side of the deck system all pieced together and sitting up in the truck bed right now. So obviously for the passenger side, we're gonna kind of duplicate those same steps and then we'll assemble it and throw it up in there with the driver's side. But the thing to note here is that deck provides some really good instructions and they do explain every little piece of hardware and every washer and everything you're gonna need to get it assembled. So you'll just wanna take the time to actually sit and read through your instructions to make sure you do it right. Now, the other thing, like I mentioned earlier, that they know is they really prefer for you to do this with just hand tools and you don't want to torque everything extremely tight and start breaking plastic and busting stuff up. So even though I am using a drill, like I said earlier, run it on low speed, set that clutch back quite a ways because you really don't want to do more than hand tight on all of these bolts and nuts as you go through it. So now we've got both drawers pretty well put together. As you saw, I threw the wheels on the back, added the little axles, and I also put that handle in on this drawer because they give you one pre-installed and then the other comes as a bag of hardware, but it's not too tricky once you watch their little video or check the instructions. So with all this piece together, we're through a majority of the heavy lifting, so to speak. So I'm gonna put these drawers up on the tailgate, we'll slide them into place, and then we can work on getting the wheels for the front axles in. And from there, it's mostly just detail stuff to piece the rest of the little bits together to really finish off the kit. But so far, it's coming together really nicely, so we'll get right back into it.
I finally got the deck system all pieced together. As you can see, it's bolted in, everything is tightened down. So between this and that midnight front bumper, we've probably turned about 6,000 different nuts and bolts, but I think the results speak for themselves. And this truck has come a long way just in this video alone. Now, if you aren't super familiar with the deck system or you weren't paying attention when I kind of talked about it at the beginning, hopefully now by seeing it installed and kind of watching the assembly process, it makes a bit more sense as to why we wanted this for the first light build and kind of where that practical storage comes in. Now, on top of having just the deck system itself and the actual drawers in it, they also provided us with those toolboxes that I mentioned earlier and a couple dividers and some little accessories to really help organize this thing. So that way, first light has the ability to either pack smaller gear into the boxes where they can pull it out more easily or divide things up and get some proper organization in here so that there's not just a bunch of wasted empty space within the drawers. On top of all of that, the actual top deck of the deck system is a pretty sturdy piece of equipment in itself. And this is something, like I mentioned, that you could actually roll a quad onto and strap down if you wanted, but it's gonna be able to support the weight of any extra equipment they need to throw in here. This stuff isn't just composite on the top. There's actually a metal subframe underneath that gives it a lot of rigid structure. And as you can see, when I was putting it together, I was actually able to sit on it and walk around on top of it too. So you don't lose any practical application as far as using this as a pickup truck bed. So with all of that being said, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this video, but hopefully you guys found this entertaining and maybe even a little bit helpful if you're doing installs on these parts for your own truck. If you're interested in picking up any of the parts that we're using for this build for yourself, we're gonna have links down in the description that you can click that'll shoot you over to our website. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.